Beneath the dry, cracked soil of northern India, something ancient sleeps. Not just bones, not just ruins, but clues, genetic, architectural, cultural, that may rewrite the very story of human civilization. Long before Mesopotamia, before Egypt raised its mighty pyramids, and long before the Greeks etched philosophy into stone, a forgotten world may have thrived on the banks of the Indus River, a world of towering cities, advanced drainage systems, and strange symbols carved into clay tablets, symbols no one has ever fully deciphered. For centuries, scholars have debated, who were the people of the Indus Valley? Where did they come from? And more importantly, what happened to them? The answers have remained elusive, buried deep in the dust of time, until now. Thanks to breakthroughs in ancient DNA analysis, the silence of 5,000 years may finally be broken. And what it's whispering is astonishing. Could it be that India, not Sumer, not Egypt, was home to humanity's first great civilization? And if so, why did we forget the Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization, flourished over 5,000 years ago, along what is now modern-day Pakistan and northwest India? At its peak, it covered an area larger than ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia combined, over one million square kilometers. With more than 1,000 known settlements, including the massive urban centers of Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa, this society was astonishingly advanced. They built multi-story homes with private bathrooms, a grid-like city layout, and intricate sewage systems that rival those in use today. And yet, no palaces, no weapons, no evidence of kings or armies, a peaceful super-society with no known rulers. How was that even possible? Their writing system remains undeciphered. Their language, lost. Their descendants, unknown. For centuries, the Indus Valley was treated as a historical footnote, overshadowed by more glamorous ancient empires. But modern science is now forcing the world to reconsider. Something doesn't add up. How could a civilization this vast, this complex, simply vanish? Or worse, be erased. In 2019, everything changed. A team of geneticists and archaeologists uncovered a burial site near the village of Rakagari, one of the largest known Indus Valley settlements. Hidden beneath centuries of sediment, they found a skeleton, a woman preserved by time, her bones resting in silence for nearly five millennia. But this was no ordinary find. For the first time in history, the remains of an Indus Valley individual were intact enough to extract ancient DNA. It was a scientific miracle. Extreme heat, humidity, and soil acidity had long made DNA recovery in South Asia nearly impossible. Yet, here it was. Genetic code, preserved in the petrous part of the temporal bone, deep within the skull. It held secrets no artifact ever could. Who was she? Where did her people come from? And what could her bloodline reveal about the origins of civilization itself? With trembling hands, researchers initiated a process that would take months, decoding her DNA and, possibly, rewriting history. The investigation was intense, methodical, and under global scrutiny. Leading the project was Dr. Vasant Shindi, a renowned archaeologist supported by geneticists from Harvard and Seoul National University. The team worked in sterile labs, using state-of-the-art technology to isolate ancient DNA fragments from the Rakigari skeleton. Every step was a battle against degradation. The genome had to be carefully reconstructed, base by base strand by strand. Contamination was a constant threat. A single modern cell could compromise the entire process. They cross-checked mitochondrial DNA, traced autosomal patterns, 
and ran comparisons against thousands of modern and ancient genomes from South Asia, Iran, Central Asia, and beyond. The goal? Determine whether the Indus Valley people were native to the subcontinent or migrants from a lost homeland. Meanwhile, the clock was ticking. Political tensions and cultural implications loomed large. The results could ignite fierce debates about ancestry, identity, and national pride. But science had no allegiance. It only sought the truth, hidden in strands of code, waiting to speak. When the results finally came in, they stunned the scientific world. The ancient DNA from Rakagari revealed a genetic profile unlike any seen before, a unique blend not found in other ancient civilizations. She had no traces of steppe ancestry, which later defined the Indo-European migrations into India. Nor did she align fully with populations from ancient Iran. Instead, her genome matched what scientists now call the Indus Periphery Group, a lineage deeply rooted in South Asia itself. This wasn't a people who came from elsewhere. They were already here. The implications were enormous. It meant the Indus Valley civilization may have developed independently, without influence from Mesopotamia, Sumer, or the Eurasian steppes. India wasn't a recipient of civilization. It may have been a cradle of it, one of the earliest, most sophisticated societies on Earth, born on the subcontinent. The evidence was irrefutable. In her bones, the Rakigari woman carried the legacy of a people who may have sparked humanity's first great urban experiment. Imagine it. Vast cities rising from the floodplains of the Indus, their brick walls glowing red under a relentless sun, children playing near freshwater wells, merchants navigating orderly streets with carts of spices, cloth and beads, massive granaries storing surplus crops, public baths engineered with precision. This was not chaos. It was coordination, not conquest, but cooperation. For nearly 700 years, the Indus Valley civilization thrived. Its cities interconnected, its people literate, organized, and astonishingly modern. There were no temples or pyramids, no kings or wars etched into stone. Yet they mastered urban planning, metallurgy, and trade networks that stretched to Mesopotamia. Then, mysteriously, it all unraveled. Around 1900 BCE, rivers changed course. Monsoons failed. Crops died. People began to migrate eastward, abandoning cities once teeming with life. No great war. No burning cities. Just silence. The civilization faded into memory, its story buried, until DNA brought it back. A lost chapter of humanity, written in clay and blood, now whispers through the centuries. The discovery of the Rakigari woman's DNA didn't just solve an ancient mystery. It opened a new one. It forced historians, scientists, and the world to ask, how many more forgotten civilizations lie beneath our feet? How many stories have been erased, waiting to be rewritten by the silent truth of genes? The Indus Valley was not an echo of another culture. It was a beginning, possibly the first. A civilization that chose balance over battle, engineering over empire. Its people didn't leave behind grand monuments to power, but systems of order, trade, and community that echo through time. Today, in the fields of India, the ruins remain, silent, patient, waiting for the next clue to rise from the earth. And now, you know what they were hiding. But what else is still buried? What other secrets lie encoded in our blood? To find out, subscribe, like this video, and dive deeper into the untold past with us. Because sometimes, the future begins with rediscovering the first steps of humanity.